back in right here again having another look at um, this tank is not making enough rice apparently and you can see there's not really any there's some on the coil below but there's nothing on there um, we clean the probe last time we're here but I've got my doubts about this control it's fell off the time clock um, within a minute or two of being powered up it should um, usually 30 seconds it should know that there's um, no ice and bring the compressor on so we've got the timer going now we're going to see how long it takes to um, start up because it could be the clock's coming on and the control isn't bringing it on thing is it's only set for um, set for about eight hours comes on here midnight runs to half seven in the morning which is not really a lot of run time for tank really I mean it would need if he's it is filling it pretty much near the top it probably need, need to run 14 hours so it might be an issue with insufficient run time <clears throat> anyway, I think we'll take the probe out and um, check to see if this thing, when it does click in, see if it stops and starts as it should do. But if it doesn't, I think we've. There we go, two minutes. We might well um, be changing it. Like I say, usually it's within 30 seconds or so of powering up. It knows it needs ice and uh, away it goes. Other things you've got in here, you've, that's your two minute timer for stirring the milk. That's your ice bank control. You've got a manual override switch there which overrides the ice bank control. Um, that's a thermostat. And that's your little contact that runs the three water pumps and the agitator motor. Full sight glass. And the other thing is, um, these are quite rusty. So, uh, that was quite bad there. So it could be it's not making enough ice when it is running. It's a four it's got four evaporators in one basically. Four coils, one, two, three and four. So if one of them goes down you lose twenty five percent of your ice bank. Very low suction pressure. It's running about um, about six psi I think. about 6 when you'd expect it to be about oh, 15 uh, 20 psi probably so I'm going to pump it down up to the valves That's the uh, little filter out of the um, that valve. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but that is completely, absolutely solid. Find something in here to.
You still can't see through it. Well, that's what's come out of there. I've given it a wash out with this stuff. Um, you see what's come back onto that. Well, I don't know what they put in that stuff, but it just seems to dissolve everything. Um, but that is, uh, you can see through it now. So. Right, that's running around. 